Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be 10 facts about me. Yes, yours truly, make a predict 005. This is the first time I'm gonna spill my beans about myself. I never spoke about myself on my channel, which is weird, but I guess now is the right time to do so. So if you want to know some 10 fun facts about me, then keep watching. Fact number one, I'm an animal and bird lover. I watch uh, the animal channels a lot on my television. Um, sometimes if you are on Snapchat, you know that, you know, sometimes I post a picture or snap or so of something of a cute animal that I'm seeing on the television. So yeah, I'm a hardcore animal and a bird lover. I watch um, Animal Planet, Discovery, Nat Geo Wild, everything. And I've watched them so much that I literally know their behavior and you know the way they behave why they behave what's up in their lives and all of that so yeah fact number two i prep for my youtube videos by talking now a lot of girls make notes like what they have to say especially when they're doing a review or in general you know you need to prep before you do your uh, youtube video you cannot just turn on the camera and start blabbering something i do that by talking that's how i prep for my videos because i remember things if i speak them out loud rather than reading them so that's another weird fact about me i think fact number three whenever i'm sad or i am depressed i just i i just talk to myself again <laughs> i talk a lot to myself i do not like to sit and talk to someone else so, you know because i feel my depression and my sadness will just pass on to that person i believe in only sharing nice moments with my loved ones and happiness with my loved ones so whenever i'm sad or something is bothering me uh, i deliberately do not go and you know transfer the burden of my sadness or depression onto the person who you know who whom i love so maybe if there's a problem and i need to sort it out i will definitely do that but not at that time when i'm sad because i feel that it, that the, I feel the sadness just transfers on to the different to the other person. It necessarily need not be a relative. It could be even a friend. Fact number four: I hate people dirtying environment. Like I hate it to bits. Um, often you will see when you are in the car, you know, people will just spit out on the road. Like it just pisses the fuck off me. You know, it just pisses me off. I do not like people dirtying environment. You know, I will see kids; they will have lays and all, and then they'll throw the wrappers. I carry all the crap in my handbag and I empty it in my house dustbin or the dustbin which is there in my building. I do not just eat something and throw it on the road. I never do that. Even if I'm carrying a lot of crap in my bag, I will wait till the right time. For instance, even in parking lots, you see, you know, people will just eat sweets and something and they will just throw the wrapper in the parking lots where you have dustbins. Can't you see that? Use me dustbin, please. Just throw the wrapper into the dustbin. What is the problem? And the worst thing is that the people who actually do this are the so-called educated and the elite and the mannered class of our society. What the hell is wrong with you all? <laughs> when we are on this topic, I fact number five will be I hate people who do not behave human in public. Especially when you are in malls, when you are entering and or exiting a lift or such place like that you know oh my god it just blows my head off how can somebody behave like that like especially for example in a food court you know the it's it's lunch hour time i understand the mall is full there's plenty of people and i have seen people like they would just sit and chat they're, they're done with their food it's not like they're eating they're done with the food but they want to sit and chat and there will be people waiting with the plate of food in their hand waiting for somebody to you know vacate a table so that they can sit and eat and these people do not even have the courtesy to get up and offer your table to the person who's waiting for a table to get empty what is your problem seriously are you even educated enough like that is forget about education that's not even human behavior in my opinion if you are done with your food and you're seeing there there are so many people it's overly crowded people are literally waiting for 10 to 20 minutes for a table to get wicked you're just sitting and chatting with them you can go and talk anywhere else just vacate the table for the person who's standing right in front of you with a big tray of food in his hand people watch that and they just don't care i i, I don't even understand that kind of behavior i just do not understand the mentality of such people fact number six is embarrassing 
but I'm gonna say that <laughs> some of you may know it I have a very bad habit of peeling off the dead skin of my lips and it is so bad habit that I do not even care sometimes where I'm standing if I feel um, you know that that uh, that hard skin on the lips sometimes you know when you feel it if I feel it any point in the day I will just get on to ripping it off my lip I do not like that I whenever I purse my lips like that I want them to be soft and I do not want that hardness to be on my lips so sometimes it is so embarrassing and I literally I'm trying my level best not to do that whenever even if I'm in public and I feel that I just start to do this and it's so embarrassing my husband will be like will you stop with that already and then I have to find a place where I can do it more in private so that's one habit that is embarrassing but it's a fact about me that I peel the dead skin off my lips Fact number seven, I'm shit scared of lizards. Shit scared of lizards. Lizards and me do not go together. We will not be in the same vicinity, period. If the lizard is in one room, I will be 10 rooms away from that lizard. Thankfully, I do not have lizards in my house because I don't let them be there. Even if I spot one, I make sure, you know, I bring somebody else to shoo the lizard away. I'm such a coward when it comes to lizards that I cannot myself shoo the lizard off even if it is a baby and I've just seen one lizard in my house might have come from outside where my maid leaves the window open and I scream at her but whatever I saw one lizard and there was nobody in the house I literally called the guard security guard of my building and I told him please help me take that out and when he came I went into a different room and I left it to him how he does that and all of that so I'm shit scared of lizards I'm sure you guys are too. Okay, now I forgot the number. I think it's eighth fact. Um, as a kid, I nearly escaped a very fatal accident and I was hospitalized because I think I was maybe five or six years of age, not more than that. And I ate a thermometer. Yes, you heard that right. I ate a thermometer. I literally bit the thermometer so the glass and the mercury and everything inside of it I just gulped it down my throat um, and my parents rushed me to the hospital had there been a little more delay things would have gotten worse for me um, but yeah I was taken to hospital on time and the doctors flushed out everything out of my body thankfully I think I was in the hospital for a week um, at that age so yeah that was the only time I was hospitalized and yeah so I'm pretty adventurous too okay the ninth fact is also a very weird fact I cannot sleep in silence weird I know that people want silence when they sleep they want darkness when they sleep I cannot sleep if there is pin drop silence it bothers me that something is wrong in my environment you know something needs to be done about this silence that's why before I go to sleep I just put on some sleep inducing music or I'll put out some nice uh, meditational speech or I leave the television on so that I can go to sleep I need somebody to keep talking you know I need some noise around me when I sleep I just cannot sleep in silence yes once I fall asleep and then you know in the middle I'll wake up okay something is still on in the t on the TV or on my phone then I'll switch it off and go to sleep not an issue but when I come to bed and to sleep I cannot sleep if you just turn my bedroom lights off and leave me alone I will not be able to sleep I really have to be dead like drop dead tired for that to happen and the last fact is a fact that has happened to me post marriage and I thank my husband somewhere for it um, but that is and that is that I can spend a whole day at the mall or at any shopping destination and not buy any Thing. and I'm proud of this because that's not how I was for me it was to it used to be like whenever I'm outside the house I do not care I like something I'll pick it up now it is not like that now I make sure that I think about what I'm buying because you know I used to be an what do you call that um, impromptu shop I don't need something and still I will find it and I'll buy but now it's not like that I know what I have to buy I don't have to buy even then I do land up buying things spontaneously but it's not that much and if I want really I can spend a whole day at a shopping destination and really not pick up anything anything and this has changed only in the last few years so that's another fact about me now 
but it was not really a bond fact about me um yeah so that's it some weird some embarrassing facts about me i hope you have liked this video and yeah let me know any weird fact embarrassing fact about you that you want to dispel on my channel <laughs> um yeah i want to thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you soon in my next video you all know that i love you and i'll talk to you all soon Mwah. bye